Hi everyone, and welcome to this Fantasy Art Friday video. In this video, I'm attempting a drawing of a forest jellyfish, and I've really loved the idea of trying this, and I wanted to make it as colourful as possible. Uh, I, I just wanted to blend a jellyfish with the details and the colours of a forest, with the leaves and the mushrooms and the flowers, and that sort of idea. Um, and last year I worked on some earth elemental creatures, like a dragon and a phoenix. And I wanted to take some inspiration from the way I worked on those drawings, because they were some of my favourite drawings to work on. Um, and I was really looking forward to this. In terms of the outlines, I was using a Copic Mod Designer SP0.03, and I spent a huge amount of time on the outlines. I think overall it took about four hours between the sketch and the whole inking process. But I really wanted to push myself, creating lines that were as smooth and as clean as possible. And I also just really enjoyed working on something that was a bit different. Creating the layers of leaves was fun, and also just varying the shapes and sizes of the flowers. That was really interesting to try, and I had a great time throughout the process. When I was eventually happy with the outlines, it was then time for the colouring, and I used Copic markers for this, starting off with the top of the jellyfish, and I began by blending between colours like pea green, pale cobalt green, a light pink, and a bit of pale heath. Then for the extremely bright pink colouring that you see, I was using a cerise marker. And for any highlights across this drawing, I was making sure to blend between a white Prismacolor pencil, a white jelly roll pen, and a uniball white ink pen. For the mushroom on top of the jellyfish, I used the cool grey markers, along with a very bright crimson marker. And then underneath the jellyfish, I added some dark shading with a black marker, then blended that downwards with the cool greys. Then it was time to start working on the leaves and the flowers underneath. For the leaves, I used pea green, then added highlights with a white Prismacolor pencil, then added individual shading under each one with a black marker and the cool greys. Uh, so it took a long time to create this effect, but hopefully that layered effect was effective. Then for the flowers, I was using a mixture of a tender pink, cerise, honey, crimson, and a bit of ice blue as well, just trying to make all these flowers look interesting and exciting to look at and uh, I, I just really enjoyed this process of trying something a bit different. Oh, and I also used the cerise marker for the tentacles, all the way down towards the bottom of the drawing. For the background within the comic panel, I wanted these colours to be a bit more faded, to really push the bright colouring of the jellyfish, so I used Pale Heath for the sky, and then I left an area of clouds as well. Then for the layers of ground, I started off with pea green, then faded that downwards towards cool grey markers. Uh, I also used champagne for the trees, and then I was using cool greys for the, all the rocks around the scene as well. Um, and I tried to bring a bit of darker shading towards the lower part of the drawing, uh, using a verdigris marker for some of the darker greens, and then fading that downwards towards cool grey 7 and 5. I also added a little bit of bright crimson colouring to the mushrooms on the closest foreground layer. Then, for the final stages of this drawing, I added some highlighting around the jellyfish, and I used a white pastel to add some mist effects towards the lower part of the drawing, and then finally, I added some particle effects. Then after that, this drawing was completed, and overall it took about 8 hours to complete, and it was super fun to try something very different, uh, adding lots of plants and flowers and mushrooms. I loved working on the earth elemental creatures last year, and I always enjoy working on nature drawings, so creating this was really enjoyable. So please let me know what you think, and also let me know if you have any suggestions for future videos. If you want to see 
see more stuff like this, then feel free to subscribe. And any likes or shares on this video, they really mean a lot to me. If you want to follow my progress and see photos before I post these videos, then please check out the links in the description box below to check out my Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. And once again, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you all soon.